Hi guys, and welcome to my first Elite Dangerous video. Um, I don't know if this will be a series or whatever, but this certainly is the first one I've done, and I'm going to do it as a, as a tutorial basically. It's, um, it's, it's a how to, you know, travel between systems, how to travel between planets, stations, and uh, platforms within systems as well. Um, it's one of the concepts that can be quite difficult to figure out exactly what you're doing with it at first. Um, that's not to say it is difficult, it's not difficult. Once you've done it two or three times it's actually fairly simple. Um, it just needs, sometimes just needs someone to explain it to you and even show you what it is that you're doing. So with that end what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of jumps and we're going to do one or two system jumps. Uh, system to another and we're going to do some in-system travelling. Mostly in-system travelling because that's the most complicated piece of navigation that you have to do in the game really. So yeah let's get started. So the moment we are, if we take a look, we are in the Fregatta system at Engel Orbital. So what we're going to do is, first off, we'll just do a system to system jump. Okay. The system to system jumps are dead easy. Um, if you aren't already familiar with your navigation console, get very familiar with it. It's, it gives you a lot of very useful information and it's, you know, it's probably the console you use the most outside of your normal flight stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, on the left uh, of the navigation console, obviously, you've got your current location, you know, like I said, Engel Orbital in the Fregatta system. Um, our current destination, which is what we're currently locked onto, which is Engel Orbital. Um, and then we've got access to the galaxy map and the system map. I'm not going to touch upon those two at the um, They're not really necessary for what I'm wanting to show you. Um, but certainly have a look at them, they're great help, especially the galaxy map. Um, System maps help as well. It's, it's, it's a fairly new addition, but it's, it's definitely very useful. So I'll take some time to take a look there and get used to how they work. Okay. Uh, on the right side of the screen, we've got a list of all the destinations that we can currently travel to. Um, where we are. Okay. So list of X of locations. We've got distances to us. Each location has a different icon, so you can see roughly what it is you're going to. Um, the unexplored ones and the nav beacons have just got these kind of square logos. Uh, Engel Orbital, which is a platform, has a kind of small platform icon. And there, there's, there's various other icons that you'll find throughout the game. You'll have there's icons for planets, there's icons for asteroid belts, stations, suns, stars, or, you know, all these things. There's lots, lots of different things to look at, so again, make sure you're familiar with them. And then below these, we've got systems. Now, you can tell the difference quite easily. Again, you know, the system icon, it looks like a small model of a solar system, and the distances are generally far, far greater as well. Um, for example, I mean, if you look at Obakirov Orbital, that's 286 light seconds away. It's is 5.09 light years away, so substantially further away. So, what do we need to know for performing a hyperspace jump? <laughs> um, not that much really for a hyperspace jump. Uh, the areas of your main screen that you need to be familiar with are in the, the bottom left where you've got your target information. Um, just to the top left of the radar screen, you'll see there's another small circle uh, across in the middle and a blue dot. That's your alignment, uh, so you need that to make sure we're aligned with our targets when we're engaging the drive. Throttle control just to the right of the radar, um, specifically that blue, that light blue arc roughly in the middle at the moment, um, that's what I like to refer to as the sweet spot. Um, so we'll come back to that later because we can't really do that just now. Um, and then in the bottom right, um, underneath your fuel gauge, there's uh, an indicator that says mass locked that's currently not lit. Um, 
that's exactly how we want it. We don't want it lit because when it's lit, you can't activate your frameshift drive and you can't enter hyperspace or do any super cruise or anything like that. Okay, so let's let's make a jump. Uh, where do we want to go? So again, we'll go back to the navigation console and we'll pick a destination. I think we should go to Erevate. Or we go to Erevate. So select it. And we want to lock and engage hyperdrive. In fact, I'll do a simpler rule. So we'll lock the destination just now. And you'll see your target information has now changed to that system. It gives you a bit of information about it as well. And we're pretty much ready to go. So what we want to do is if you look at the small alignment radar, again, top left of the main radar, see that the blue dot is now changed to a slightly blue circle and as we move that circle moves. If it's a circle that's empty like that it means that it's currently behind us so we just need to align ourselves with that. It's turned into a full circle which means it's now in our front and that's us. So as long as that blue dot's roughly in the middle, as long as you're pointing in that direction that shows you you're ready to enter hyperspace. So We'll throttle up, so get the throttle up to full, and then just and then just engage your hyperdrive, or sorry, engage your frameshift drive using whatever control system you've got set up. Frameshift drive charging. It will charge, and then we'll enter uh, hyperspace. Uh, the charging can be slowed down depending on a couple of things, um, but that's a bit more advanced, so but don't worry about that. Just three, two, one, engage. And that's a hyperspace jump. Um, we will automatically drop out once we reach our destination, and when we drop out we'll be in what's called super cruise. So the first thing we're going to do is drop our speed to zero and point away from the start. Yeah, 
this. Not really the one to focus. Okay, sorry. What we'll do? Right, draw back to zero there. That is one of the dangers of hyperspace travel in this game. Um, people can interdict you and drop you out of super cruise. Now that can be pirates, it can be local security forces. So it's just something you need to bear in mind um, and try and avoid wherever possible. So if somebody try, does try to interdict you, make sure that you try and keep on that escape vector and you should evade the interdiction. Anyway, back to where I was, so we've, obviously we're trying to stay away from the sun, so we'll, we'll skirt around that a wee bit, so make sure we're pointing like there. And now, if you look back at your throttle control, um, earlier on I pointed out the sweet spot. Now what we want to do is we want to throttle up until the throttle indicator, so that small line that's moving up, we want to get that to where that's within that blue and it turns blue, like that. Okay? If what that'll do is that'll keep us roughly at the correct speed we need to be to reach that destination without overshooting it or taking an absolute age. Okay, let's see. And I think we've passed the plant the star enough, so we'll just line ourselves up with the destination. And we just wait. So while we're waiting if we look again at the targeting system in the bottom left, um, the alignment uh, sends, you'll see what it says, distance and speed. We've got these two bars, uh, which once we get closer to the target, we'll see a couple of small indicators appear on them. Uh, now, the, the, t the goal for Super Cruise is to get the two indicators into the blue section at the same time. So make sure the speed's in the blue, while the distance is in the blue, and vice versa. So there we go, that sort of distance indicator appeared, which means we're getting closer to the target. Um, and if you look at the speed indicator next to the radar, you'll see we're starting to slow down. Um, like I said, if we keep it in the blue section, it'll, it'll keep us roughly at the right speed. We might need to tweak it up or down, just to be sure. But that'll more or less keep us right. Um, and the alignment scene, the screen, you'll see that this, the speed indicator has also appeared and it's moving faster than the distance speed. That basically means we're losing speed quicker than we're losing distance, but that's fine. That'll generally happen. So it's, all we need is for the two bars to be in their blue sections at the right time. When that happens, we can drop it a super cruise. Distance-wise, you're looking at one million meters, I believe it is. Um, before you can drop out, speed-wise, it has to be one million meters a second. So, speed's correct, but we're not quite close enough, so we'll just keep going. Somebody else going to... Almost there. And great, we're now close enough that we can drop out. Sometimes interdictions can be really annoying. you need to realign yourself, you need to point yourself back in the right direction and carry on. So we'll speed up just a touch. Oh, and this is ready to drop out. Now obviously was interdicted, the same thing happened. And before I could drop out, they, acted, they interdicted me. Um, and that's us, that's how you do in system travel. Quite simple. Um, it does take some practice. Once you've done it a handful of times and you've got you've got some understanding of how how it works and what the various syndicators mean. 
it becomes much easier. Um, it took me a handful of goes to get the hang of it, but once I kind of did, so you're doing it in your sleep. It's it's probably the kind of manoeuvre you perform more than anything else, really. Docking request granted. In the meantime, let's we're going to call it a day there. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you've gotten some help out of it. Um, you of course just laugh at me being interdicted all the time. Uh, if I do another video, I'll pop it up and let you guys know. So, cheers. Bye.